and welcome to this first five minute mini masterclass. What we're going to show you today is a fantastic online free tool called Screencast-O-Matic which is at screencastomatic.com. What is uh, so wonderful about Screencast-O-Matic? It is a free online video recording uh, software that will allow you to record the screen. Um, you get 15 minutes of record time, but if you pay $15, you get access for the whole year um, to the whole Screencast-O-Matic software, which allows you to record longer than 15 minutes, and you get access to an editing suite. The basic version, basically, will just allow you to record 15 minutes for free, but this can be used online, or you can download it, and it works both for Windows uh, PCs and also for Macs. So, again, this is a fantastic uh, online software. So, for example, here I am on the, the website now, and I'm going to just click on Start Recording from the site itself. You can download this to your PC, and you can use it offline if you, do, you choose to. Um, so I'm just going to click on one this time. Obviously, it's uh, asking me to update my Java. So I'm just going to allow that to run. To be able to show you how to use this software, I'm actually recording using Camtasia. If you do not have Camtasia or the a Mac equivalent, which I think is ScreenFlow, um, in fact, I think you can use Camtasia for Mac as well, which are very expensive. This is a fantastic, cheaper, free alternative. The one problem with running Camtasia along with uh, trying to do uh, uh, Screencast-O-Matic is that my Camtasia slows everything down. So I'm just going to quickly press pause. Okay, so when it's opened up fully and it's uploaded, as you can see it now says ready, you get this uh, screen here with the record box, which um, as you can see these points here means that you can drag it about so I mean for example if I open up a PowerPoint screen this is ideal for recording the uh, the slides I've got here so as I go through them I can start recording if you wanted to do the full screen you just simply click on those and pull them to wherever you want and then again you start to just press record. You can see the microphone is recording what I'm saying. Uh, if I wanted to use a webcam, I can down there with this uh, icon here. But as I say, I'm just going to pull that back to there. And then simply I'm going to click on the record. So now I get three seconds intro. And then as I start recording, um, you can see down here the microphone is recording what I'm saying. And then I just scroll through these as I start recording. There we go, it froze up a little bit me on there. Um, so as I scroll through, that's because I'm using Camtasia at the same time. So now all I need to do now is just press that pause button there. So once you've recorded, as you can see I've only just done uh, 40 seconds. I'm allowed to do 15 minutes with the free version. I just simply click on done. And then I wait for the video page to open up. So there we go. I can press play now if I want to watch the video. I don't know if you heard that, but as I was playing that, I could hear myself talking, so it's recorded what I was saying. Okay, so now you've got the option you can publish to Screencast-O-Matic. You can publish straight to YouTube if you have a YouTube account. If you pay the $15 for the full access, you actually get more um, video sites to share with. Or you can publish to a video file. Now this is what I tend to do, um, this is mainly because I sometimes use this software and then edit it in other software which you can do. Um, for example if I wanted to record using the free software and editing Camtasia I would save this as a Windows Media. I tend to go for the HD and then I just go with the default black and so then what I would do is click on save video which will open up a box like so and then uh, for example I'll stick this on the desktop uh, and I shall just do this as the um, my screencast 
a Matic tutorial at uh, AVI file and then I will press save and now that's going to save that to the desktop as a video as you can see now it's doing 0% again if I press pause or oh, there we go it's now going up 6 8% 10% I should just leave that running for a few minutes how long it takes to save to video depends on how long you have recorded as I have already done 40 seconds it shouldn't take long okay so now that has been saved you can click on the back button or just click that off um, so I'm going to click that off now and if I go back to Screencast-O-Matic I would then press the start recording so what has happened now is it's opened up the found existing recording so if you want to record another you uh, basically need to press delete it always happens it's kind of handy in case um, you find out that you haven't got your recording saved to memory which let's just have a quick uh, let's have a quick look just close that down close that down close that down there we have it it's on the desktop so yeah there you go that's the recording I've actually got saved so again if I go back to Screencast-O-Matic I can now delete that and there you can see it's now opened it all up again ready to record so there you go so that is how you use a fantastic piece of online software called Screencast-O-Matic